Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am so happy to have you guys here with me today. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup look inspired by Miss Trixie Mattel. I just watched her um, like Valentine's Day video, getting ready for date night with her and Brittany Broski. And I just like was obsessed with her look. So this is it. And so I'm not gonna be like recreating it. I don't know if I said I was gonna be, but I'm gonna be doing a look inspired by that because I just love the colors and I just think it's so pretty. So yes, that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm just going to start with the base. I seem to have misplaced my foundation, um, so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. Don't come for me. Um, I don't know what happened to it, so this is what we're using. I'm not gonna do it all over my face. I'm just gonna kind of put it um, on my acne, and then I think I'm gonna do it around my eyes too. Usually I don't cover up my eye bags because right now eye bags are trendy. Like dark under eyes glow, dark under eye circles are trendy, so I usually don't cover them, but I think for this look I will. And I just do it here to cover up my scarring, my acne, and then I'm gonna put some here. Miss Tracy Martell obviously does super full coverage. Um, but like I said, this is not a recreation. Oh my gosh, I look insane. Actually, do you know what? I'm also gonna put some on my forehead just to make it more even. Um, yeah. Hello, now I'm just gonna take, there's a hair on my chin somewhere. I'm gonna take my little beauty blender. This isn't like beauty blender brand, but and just pat this in. I'm also just taking the concealer and bringing it down my nose to kind of like sculpt it out. Alrighty, so that is my foundation on. Um, it looks super like ghastly right now just because of the lights but like i promise you guys like it's not actually that harsh don't worry i look like a ghost anyways so this is just kind of like always what i look like now i'm gonna do some contouring i use the Too faced chocolate contour this is in medium i don't know if they have a bunch of different shades but yeah this is what I'm using. It smells like chocolate. Mm. Oh. But it, you did this for what? And I'm just using this kind of multi purpose brush from Sephora. This is what I use to do my contour. So I'm just going in. And then I'm gonna make it, usually I don't make it that harsh, like I try to do it kind of subtle, but I'm gonna make it a little bit harsher because the whole point of Trixie's face is that it's very like angular and geometric. So I'm gonna implement that into this look. So I'm gonna start in the pockets here. And deepen up that. And then I'm going to drag it out. And then just kind of blend upwards to like lift the face. And that's the cheekbone contour. 
And I'm just gonna do my jawline as well. Really just get in there. Alrighty, and then I think I'm gonna do my nose contour next. So what I do with my nose contour is I just take a flat brush, dip it in some of this, and then I go very light-handed. Again, maybe I'll do it a little heavier just for the occasion, but I just kind of, so like my nose is like super bony, so I just follow that like bone in there, and then I keep it, um, I keep going like straight, if that makes sense, so that I narrow like the tip of my nose here. Because I have like a thin nose, but the end is like kind of like bulbous, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I just like to like narrow it. And then I just kind of blend it down. And then I also take some and I put it at the tip to shorten the nose. It's so like right under here. Snatched. And then I just kind of buff it out. And I always use like powders only. I don't really have any creams. But I mean you can use whatever. Now I'm going to do blush for the blush. I have this um, eyes, lips, and face palette from e.l.f. So the like first pan is eyeshadows. And then you take that off and it's got these blushes and bronze, bronze shades. So I'm gonna go into this um, orangey shade right at the end here and Trixie she puts it like very close to the contour and kind of like marries it and blends it out so that's what I'm gonna do so start putting it in the pocket here and just kind of like blend it up and out so like I feel like normally when people put on their um blush they you know do like the smile and then put it right on the apples but she kind of puts it like outside of her face i'm gonna bring it in a little bit farther than she does like kind of to the apples but keeping it closer to the outside of the face and then we're gonna put a bit she doesn't do this but i'm gonna put a bit on the nose And don't be shy. I've never been shy with blush. Trixie is not shy with blush. You shan't be either. All right. Cute, okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna do some brows. Um, just like Trixie, I'm gonna keep it pretty natural with brows. They're not gonna be super dark or anything. I'm just gonna take a brow pencil and kind of like define the shape a bit. So I'm just gonna start by brushing the hairs down and filling in the top part. Kind of the tail, and then I'm gonna brush it up and fill underneath. Now I'm just going to use the spoolie and just blend it all in. Do the other side. Alright, and then now I'm just going to go in with a brow gel. Um, just to kind of add a bit of extra volume because she always... Um, draws in some little hair so just to kind of like exaggerate the hairs that we have we're gonna use a gel cute okay 
So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put some concealer onto my eyes to prime them so that we can get into the eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. All right, so now we've got a base for our eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using, can you guys, that's my cat. Can you please? So for today's look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 39A um, for the main color. Ooh. Come on. The main color, which is this bright red. So you don't need this whole palette, obviously, just something that is similar to that. That's really the main one. The rest you can do with like any neutrals. So I think I'm going to dip into this dark brown right on the end here and this kind of like rosy color. I'm just gonna mix those, get those on my brush. This is just a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to place that in my crease and blend it out. Just like that. I'm not bluff I'm not buffing out the edges too much because we're gonna use a transition shade on that, but just a bit. So that it's not like harsh. And I'm just doing the other eye the exact same. It's okay if like the eyelid is messy because it's all good. We don't need that to be super clean. So now I'm going in with the Morphe 35M. No, it's not sponsored. I don't have an affiliate code yet, you guys. I'm just going in with this pinky color right there and I'm going to use that to buff out the edges. Did everyone see the video that Tracy and Brittany put out? I was Okay, first of all, they are so funny together, but I also am like extremely jealous. Um, it's so hard to see others living out your dream. Like, Brittany is just this like gal from Texas, and she's out here making videos with Miss Trixie Mattel, and they're like friends, like they're like actually friends, and I'm like, like why can't that be me, you know? Why can't that be me? Um, so Trixie, if you're watching this, hi. Can we be friends, please? I'm super fun. Um, love to laugh, love to share, love to gossip. Let's be friends, let's, let's be besties. Okay, so now that this is all blended, we are going to take our concealer once again and I'm going to cut the damn crease. I'm just taking a kind of flat brush. We are so professional on this channel even though this is like the same color as my skin. It's fine. If you would like a tutorial on how to cut the crease, I made one. So if you're watching me thinking, how the damn hell is she doing that? You can check that video out. And use the technique here. Okay, cute. So now that that is done, it is time for the main event. This bright, glittery red. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. So I'm just taking a brush like this and I'm just going to like pack it on. Now 
So I'm just putting this all over my lid and then I'm leaving the tiniest little line um, of that cut crease, I'm leaving it blank. So like pretty much just putting it on the lid because when I do a cut crease, I like to go just above um, the lid, like just above onto my, I don't know, I don't know anatomy on here. And so yeah, I'm just leaving that little line. we're gonna put something there don't worry isn't this so pretty you guys i can't as soon as i open this palette up i got it i wouldn't normally have gotten it because i know that like morphe isn't exactly like the best brand in terms of both like formula and like ethics <laughs> um but it was on sale, it was super cheap, and it's got like a bunch of colors, so I was like, you know what, why not? Okay, and I'm actually gonna take what's left on my brush and kind of put it on the outside here, just to brighten it up a bit, because that's kind of dull. All right, cute. Now I'm going to take a bit of a smaller, thinner brush. Going back to the 35M here, I'm going to take, I think, this pink. And we are going to put this um, on that line that we left of the crease. And so this is kind of mimicking like that white that she has, that white line. And then actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in with a bit more concealer and just kind of highlight that. Oh my god, okay, yes, cute. And I'm just gonna take some pink and kind of blend it in because we don't want it to be, I'm using a concealer so it's not like white white, um, but you don't want it to be like too light because we're not going for the same look. We're just kind of trying to do a similar vibe, if that makes sense. All right, and then I'm going to take a white eyeliner. This is just a pencil liner and I'm going to, um, Okay, what is that? Hello? I'm just gonna cover it up. And it never even happened. Um, I'm gonna take a white eyeliner and just kind of fill in the corner of my eye just to kind of like mimic the white that she does under her eye. So the same kind of shape, just not as big. And I'm just gonna kind of bring it into my waterline here. It keeps on getting mixed with the pink. I don't want it to look like I have pink eye. No hate to pink eye, but it's just not the look we're going for, even though it literally is a pink eye. Still, I'm just sharpening my pencil. If you have a liquid or a gel liner, you can use that as well. Okay, cute. Oh, actually, do you know what? We could also use this here. Just to brighten it up a bit. I know we, I said that we don't want it stark white, but I just, the camera isn't quite like picking up on it. So just to brighten it up. I'm gonna put some of this in here. And then it blends with that red to create this like super pinky line. It's almost like a neon sign or something. So cute, love it. Okay, now for eyeliner. Oh, this is a brow gel. Now for eyeliner. 
eyeliner. So this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. You guys, I love this eyeliner so much. Um, it is like, um, I think it's like a felt point tip. It's so nice. It's like nice and structured. So it's like a marker tip kind of, but it's still like, this sounds really weird, but it's like very liquid. It's very wet, so it doesn't get dry, but then it dries matte. It's, oh, it's so good. And it stays on all day. Like it does not budge. I love it so much. So we are going to be doing a cat wing and a pretty thick one at that. It's going to be very big and angular. I'm going to start um, at the outer corner here and just draw one going straight up just like that. And then I'm going to start kind of like right where my eye shape peaks. I'm just going to take that and drag it across and then meet up right there and create a little point. And I'm just gonna fill it in. So it's like very like, you know? Don't be afraid to go big with this one. Trixie's got big eyeliner, therefore so do we. I'm just gonna bring it down a bit like that. To really give it that shape. And then I'm also going to put a little triangle here in my inner corner to kind of create that illusion right above where I put the white. Okay, cute. Now I'm just gonna do the other eye, same thing. Okay. Awesome, so eyeliner is done. Now I'm just going to take a small kind of smudging brush like this. I'm going to dip it in some black and I'm just going to connect my eyeliner and bring it down like that to kind of create that shape. And I'm just gonna buff out the bottom of it, the bottom of the wing. Okay, and so now using a similar brush, I'm going to put the red underneath. The same red that we used on the lid. So I'm gonna bring it right into the corner, like so, under the white, and then use it to kind of buff out the black. Oh my god. Okay, cool, cool. So those are the eyes. I am going to throw on a quick coat of mascara before lashes. Okay, here's the thing. So, I know that Miss Trixie does her mascara before her eyelashes. Not that it really matters because you can't see them because of all the black liner, plus like the lashes are huge. Um, so she's always like, oh, like it doesn't matter that I have mascara. Like you can't even really see it, but like I always put it on. I, oh my God, dude. Um, I always put on my mascara before my eyelashes, but then like, I think, I mean, granted, I have not seen a James Charles video in a very long time, um, but I'm pretty sure he puts mascara on after putting lashes on. And so I was just wondering like, what do you guys do? Because, I don't know, I just feel like maybe it's because I have blonde eyelashes. Um, it just like looks really weird when I put on the lash before mascara because I feel like there are like bald spots that like don't get fixed if I put it on after. So, I don't know, I was just thinking about that. 
doing my bottom lashes. Um, I always do my bottom lashes, but if you don't always, I would recommend doing them for this look because Miss Trixie um, wears like false lashes as bottom lashes. We are not gonna be doing that, but you can, you can kind of achieve the same thing relative to the size of makeup we are doing by putting mascara on your lower lashes. If that made any sense whatsoever. All right, and these are the lashes I'm gonna be using. They are Sephora brand, um, the flare ones. I really like them because they're like really heavy at the end and I like that kind of like pull it out shape. If that makes sense, pull it out shape. Pull it out shape. I don't know what that means, but. And this is just a Quo lash glue. Use some of that. All right, lashes are on. We are moving on to lips. So Miss Trixie, she does a red lip in this look, which is very unheard of for her, but I love a red lip, so that's what we're gonna be using. This is the Sephora um, Cream Lip Stain. I love these, they're so good. They're so, like they're matte, but they aren't like, like super dry. They don't turn your lips into the Sahara Desert. Um, and they don't go anywhere. Like they're pretty good at staying on. So I'm gonna put some of this on. And I don't use a lip liner, I know, sue me, but I am gonna overline just a little bit. I just kind of go just out of my cupid's bow and just a bit underneath here. Cute. All right, and then last but not least i'm gonna do some highlighting so i am just going back into my 35m hashtag boss babe hashtag girl boss um and i'm just gonna use this shimmery shade right here i love this shade for highlighting it's so perfect so i'm gonna go where we put the white in the eyes um underneath the brow bone Right on the cheekbone. And then on the nose, so we go like the little exclamation point. And then just on my cupid's bow. Okay, you guys, here is the final result. I've got a black turtleneck on, just like Trixie. I tried to do my hair kind of like the wig that she has on. And yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.